Hello, this is Bob Hollis with the Mobius Network in a quick tutorial on doing articles and menu items for the Marin Sanitary Service website. So when you come to the main website, you'll see that you're out here on marinsanitary.com. To go to the administrative side, just type front slash administrator. And that will take you to the login. Now, I've already logged in. I've got a page open here, so it didn't ask me for my login. But normally, you'll see a login screen, and that's where you enter your username and password, and it will bring you to this screen. If you're going to add content to the menu system, you want to create the content first and then create the menu item. Normally, the content will be an article. So you can go to Article Manager or Content Article Manager, Add New Article or straight to add new article. If you go to article manager, you can edit anything that's in there. And obviously add new articles for new content. Once the article is created, then you would go into your menu system. And top menu is where our home page is, and that's where we're putting most of our items. So you can either go directly to add new menu item, or go into the top menu, which I will do, and add a new menu item here, up on the top right. If I wanted to edit a current item, let's say, for example, that we extraneously added a um, an extra debris box menu item, then I could simply go up to wherever that item was, say, for example, debris box rental, and unpublish it, and which we already did. This one is now uh, red. Anything that's red is unpublished. Anything green is published. So if you're working with your, and, and a lot of these will be cleaned up on this specific site, but if you're working and you want to uh, minimize the number of things you need to look at, just go to select status and filter it down to published. And now we're only showing the items that are published on the site. And then to search for it more quickly, you can type the word debris. If in this case we're looking for a debris uh, item, search. And it will filter and just bring up the items that we're looking for that are both uh, have the word debris in them and are published. And if I wanted to unpublish that, I could simply click there. Or I can click inside and edit with any of the same information that you would set up if you were to click New. So we've got the title. This is the type of menu item. So in this case, it's single article. So if I were to set up a new one, I would click, um, we'll walk through that. So first I'll get rid of this filter just to, so I know what I'm looking at and make sure I don't already have a menu item like I'm about to create. And remember it may be one already there in unpublished at this point too. But let's just say that I, I know I need a new one called composting. Then I could click new decide what type of menu item this is going to be. And that means what type of resource is it going to link to. So we've got resources up here for CIVI CRM, polls, quizzes, contact information, and articles, which is what we'll use most of the time. So in this case, if I were to click single article, now it's opening up an option for me based on my selection choice. And I can just pick any article that's published that I might want to list. So I'll filter on the word compost to see if we have anything here. Nothing that I see. So I'm just going to randomly select an article. We'll say about Marin Sanitary. And I would then probably want to make my menu title the same thing. About Marin Sanitary but they don't need to be the same. So once we've got our title in, we've selected the article. Uh, there are a lot of options down here to select from, but we have them all set at default, so it's generally best just to stick with that. Metadata is where you would put in your data for, uh, one, a description that could be read by a, in a site survey or summary, and then keywords that you'd want to be found for a search entrance. Over here, you want to make sure that the status is published access is public. This means that anybody who comes to the website can see this menu item. If you want to test it first, 
set it to special, and that would mean that only people logged in as admins on the front end can see it. So that's a good way to put your work up, mark it as special, log in from the front side, and look at it yourself before changing it from special to public. And then menu location. If it's going to be in the root menu of the top menu, then you just leave it like this. You can also add it to a different menu if you don't want it in the top menu. Since we are in the top menu right now, it also gives me parent item options. And this determines whether or not it will be on a drop down or the main item. So anything we set to the root would be right up here along the same level as home, residential services. If we put home as the parent, then it would come into here. If we put document downloads as the parent, then it would be another sub-item here below document downloads. So you choose the parent item in the tree as the parent item for your link, and that will determine where and how it appears in the drop-down. Uh, once that's saved, and I'm not going to do it now because we don't need this menu item, I'm just going to cancel. But once that were to be saved, then you would be able to uh, access that menu item. One more thing to point out is the browser page title. That's what shows up up at the top of the browser in your tab. So you might just want to get in the habit of taking whatever your menu title is, copying over the browser page title and page heading, and it also helps with uh, search engine results. But make sure you leave this checked as no, otherwise it will appear as a, as a redundant heading on your articles. It'll be a menu heading plus your article heading, and uh, sometimes it'll drive you nuts figuring out how to get rid of the double heading, but that's usually all it is. So that's the quick lesson on menu items. If you have any questions, bob at themobiusnetwork.com or find me on LinkedIn, Bob Hollis. Thanks. Have a great day.